forget or not know or not walk in or have the lack of the anointing of God. Because what the anointing will do is it will change things in your life. Every time that the priest would go out, they would anoint because they, they understood that the anointing would bring power. They understood that by anointing, that the anointing would never lose its power. Now listen to me. The enemy would like for you to, to recognize his anointing. Now, now, in the same sense, when you come to church, there's times when Pastor around and the praise team begins to sing, and I know you felt it at one time or another. The praise team begins to sing, and all of a sudden it just goes all over you. I mean, your hair stands up on the back of your neck. I mean, you get the goosey box, and you look around and think, ooh, man, that's God. But at the same sense, I say, I love the preacher. While you was out in the world and you heard a love song, <laughs> notice that the same goosebumps came. Now, is it the right anointing or not? It's the wrong anointing. But still, the enemy would like for you to try to get underneath his anointing. I, I want to say this tonight. And I'm going to slow down a little bit. I want to say this tonight. Is, is when a person is anointed in a rock group by the enemy or Satan, they are anointed to sing and woo in the world and the millions of dollars begins to come and, and things now, now after a while you'll find out that most of the rock singers are, are, are dead or on their way dead because of the lifestyle that they, they lived of all the trash they put in their bodies of all the immoral things that went on because that anointing drove them into a different stage but the enemy had anointed their lives at the time to make it look like they was on top of the world where God's anointing is totally different, we wouldn't be on top of the world. But to get God's anointing out, we have to be crushed. Yes. It's going to get good in here tonight. <laughs> See, because the world's anointing will bring fame and everything looks like it's easy. But God's anointing, what the devil thought was he got you down. He crushed you. But what he really didn't understand was that the more he kicked you, the more he pushed on you, the more he aggravated you, the more anointing that you become. And, 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 and so the enemy would try to, to wear you out and get you to think, yes, you got to see it his way. But I want you to know that we have to recognize the anointing and when God begins to move in your life the anointing will move to you the anointing will speak volumes because just like God anointed Abraham and God's God anointed Isaac and then God anointed Jacob you got to understand that the time that Jacob was anointed of God Jacob began to come up and flow with God Jacob decided one day I got I'm not where I need to be that anointing keeps chasing me. I don't know what else to do. And so Jacob got along all by himself. And he recognized that he needed God. And by himself, God showed up. And the Bible said he wrestled with a man. Can I tell you something? That's an indication of the true thing. That, that we have to wrestle with the man. God didn't come and wrestle with the spirit. He come and wrestled with a man. And so when he got done, they recognized that Jacob had been with God because he had a limp. I need to tell you in this place tonight some of you walked in here and you walked in here limping. You walked in here because you've been you, you, you've been crushed. You walked in here because there's some things that went on in your life. Don't let the devil cheat you out of it because you wrestled with a man. I need some amens in here tonight. You wrestled with a man. You wrestled with a man inside of you. You wrestled until God had a and had appointed and brought you to a situation. God said, I need you because I'm about to change your name and call you from Jacob to Israel. I'm about to make you a blessing in front of it all. Yes. The anointing will bring you from one place to another place. 
the anointing can, can, can cause you. It can cause you that inside of where you're at and everything looks like it's crazy. It can, praise God, the anointing can, can move down upon your life. And the anointing can soothe. Yes. Yes. When nothing else can soothe, the anointing yes. Yes. will soothe your soul. Amen. Amen. Underneath the anointing, you can take pressure and take things that you normally couldn't take. Underneath the anointing, God can move you from one place to another place. Because, because God never did anything that he didn't anoint somebody to do. Right. He, wouldn't, he wasn't about to let David step up and be king unless he was anointed first. Amen. He was not about to take David. When Samuel came and he said, he said, Jesse, God has sent me because one of your sons is to be king. I, listen to me. What, praise God, what, what Samuel did, when he said, pull them all out. And so David went and got his finest sons and he pulled them out and they walked in front of him. And Samuel said, I don't recognize that. I don't hear that. I don't recognize that. That's not you. The other one came, I, I don't recognize that. Praise God. Nobody would have ever thought in a million years that David would become king. But because he walked before Samuel and Samuel recognized the anointing inside of David, I need to tell somebody in this place tonight that yes, 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 God said, I will recognize that anointing in you. I will promote you to another level. I prophesy right now. I will take you to places that nothing else can take you. Your education couldn't get you there. Your denomination couldn't get you there. But the anointing, the longer you've been crossed, the more anointing you are, honey. The longer that you lay there underneath that defeat, God said, I'm going to anoint you more. Stand to your feet in this place and give him praise.